Hello, Lego friends, Matt from Brooks Brooks here. And today we're going to take a look at the Medieval Realm August 2023 update. Stay tuned. Welcome back, everybody, and my apologies for not having a July update, but uh, things were a little hectic with the layout here, and from what you're going to see, there are going to be some uh, major differences from the previous update, so let me go ahead and just pull back and show you everything that's going on. It's going to be a world of difference since the last time I've shared this on a video here, but let's take a look and see. Look at this. <laughs> Things are a little different. Just a tad. <laughs> Alright, so why all the changes? Why is everything completely rearranged? So, one of the biggest challenges I had was getting the marketplace actually in a spot that I thought would look good um, from a central focal point like this. Um, so again, these are facades, so the backs are open, and I didn't want to have the backs facing the camera view like this, the main perspective. And the only way I could really make this work was to put them kind of in a line like this. Which meant rearranging everything else in the realm. Took a lot of time kind of figuring out what I wanted to do. Kind of got something that works for the moment. I'm pretty happy with it. So let's start from the left and move my way over here. So you can see I have tweaked the whole evil wizard and orc area here. They're kind of placed back a little bit more. Um, I think that's a little bit more appropriate. Um, I've got a little bit of space to fill in here right now. At least one base plate worth of stuff. Um, my apologies to you here scratching the door. My cat does not like the door being shut and not being able to come in here. I still have the, um, the Forceman hideout back there. I'm probably going to change that. I might actually move it up to the front here since I do have a couple plates of space. Um, and maybe develop some more things back here. The Black Falcon Castle has moved to the front corner here. I do like how that looks. Of course, then I got the uh, the gate area and the ramp up. And I've got a 60 by 32 space here and a 32 by 32 space here to work with at the moment. So I gotta think about what I wanna do, but I'm also looking at the possibility of completely changing up what I've done with this plate because now I've got this whole space back here and I feel like it's almost inaccessible in a way so I might do a lot of tweaking to potentially mod or completely reduce the entire plate with the gate and the ramp and all that stuff um, maybe to have this come off a different way I'm not sure yet but I think I need to maybe extend the road further and then have the plate, plate come down this way and then angle it a different way to go over that way as an entrance. I don't, I'm going to have to think about that, but that's something I think I'll need to do to make it look just a little bit better, make a little bit more sense in the context of all this. Um, thinking about a plate with maybe like some kind of military vehicle, you know, carts and all that kind of stuff. I do want to do some of that as well. I haven't done much of that yet in the last year plus, so I think that would make sense. And then I can put the Forestman hideout maybe up here. I think that might look cute next to the river. Of course, a big highlight now is the, um, the marketplace. Main street there. I, of course, do need to kind of change up the play here to make that make a little bit more sense, but right now, in context, I think it looks good. Again, this is one of the more developed scenes in the entire realm. Lots of people out and about. Checking out all the shops and all the buildings and in context. Love it. I think this looks fantastic. Yep, I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> of course, then along the side, you got the river. Oh no, and, and Brother Mike is in the river right now. Oh, I forgot I left him there. Oh no. He's like Oregon Trail trying to get through the river. <laughs> it's 
So, this world is a little small for the context of some of these cards. Um, that's okay, it's just a diorama. So got these folks hanging out over here. I may have to tweak some of these trees and how I've got things laid out to make things a little bit better. Um, I moved the peasant um, village, one of the first mocks I ever did, um, back here next to the river. And of course, we still have otters playing in the river because or the pond, because that's adorable. And it felt practical to move the farm to that corner back there next to the peasant village. I felt like that made a lot more sense. And I feel like it kind of just felt in place next to the river that way. So then, of course, the uh, the grain mill fit in next to that. Also because of the space limitations. And then, there is the Lionite Castle. And all its glory right there. <laughs> and that's a, that's a beauty. That is definitely a beauty. I knew that was going to look good in place, and it, I don't know if it comes across, as I'm kind of shifting my angles here, I don't know if it comes across how good it actually looks up on the pedestal of the cliffs like that, but yeah, it is, uh, it is nice. And then I moved the blacksmith shop over here, and I did some tweaking, if you recall, on a recent stream. I made this little river outlet, so that's how it actually looks in context with the waterfall. Very nice. I changed the path a little bit here so I can have the road accessible. Um, I don't have the medieval inn that I've been working on in here yet, uh, but that's going to fit in right in place here. So you can see where that roadway comes into play. And then that other road plate that I was working on will fit in right along here. So it will connect the castle over to this road. And then we have our little church, the medieval church. I do have to do a little bit of tweaking here. I had to take off the tree that was in the corner because unfortunately the practical realities of my room, I've got my table stands right here. I've also had to remove a couple of other things. <laughs> that tree is down. So I need to kind of fix up a couple of plates here with what I've done. But this still remains one of my favorite scenes as well. The jousting is very filled out, lots of things going on. Looking pretty good. Very happy with that. And the king is hanging out watching everything. So yeah. In a nutshell, that's kind of how things are looking at the moment. Again, very different from how I had light, laid it out previously. Mostly because I had to figure out how to arrange the marketplace in there, but love that marketplace build and I wanted to accommodate it to make it look good as best I could. And that's where we are. As you can see, we're getting close to, getting close to filling out the space. I've got another plate here I could do. And that's, I got these to do over here, but that's not much left. And I'll just have to set some more scenes and set some, you know, soldiers on the roads and stuff like that. Um, maybe create like a battle scene and all that, so looking pretty good. All right, folks, that was a little bit of a longer update, but I felt it was appropriate as there's been a lot of changes here and I want to explain some of my thinking and what's been going on. But I do appreciate watching, and I always appreciate all your support. And we'll definitely have more of these coming up through the next couple of months. I've got a few more projects to wrap up here. And, uh, yeah, we might have a diorama that gets close to being more or less completed for the realm. As always, I do thank you for watching. If you have, be sure to follow me over on Twitch at Bricks Bricks, where I do my weekly live streams of work and all this great stuff. I do thank you for your support over there as well. And if you have, be sure to subscribe here as well. Hit that like button, notification bell, comment right up below. Thanks for watching. Until next time, from the realm. Bye bye.